Hey there, Virgo. Hope you guys this week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming up for you guys as high as good at this time. This is for my beautiful sign of Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo. Tell me what, Virgo. Unsettled. Two more. Closure. One more. Mirroring. So somebody here is mad that you gave yourself closure and you're moving forward. Like you're so unbothered right now. This could have been some kind of mirror magic dunning. done. Somebody's mad that they cannot. Like somebody's trying to figure out how to mirror your energy. But this is like. For some of you this energy was trying to like. Cloak themselves in your energy when it was them all the time. That's for somebody. Not for everyone. What's the overall energy for Virgo? Bring that back out. Overall energy for Virgo. Doubt. So somebody here. Wanted you to doubt yourself. Somebody was really trying to like focus on your your pain. Somebody knows that you've released something here. Somebody's trying to have a final talk with you, but this person knows it's not going to work. Somebody really worked hard to try to get you to doubt yourself, but I feel like it just made you stronger. So learning that endings are making way for new things. Your transformation is definitely significant. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio, have Scorpio placements in your moon rising Venus. So somebody knows that something's over with. That's why somebody's so unsettled here. It's like somebody knew that something wasn't going to work here, and they still tried it. And somebody knows that you're not going to have this closure, this talk with them, but they still want to try it. Virgo. 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 We face it together. So somebody here... Somebody doesn't like that you're no longer, like, facing something with them. Like, this could be more than one person involved here. And it's like somebody thought that we're going to try to, like, they were going to take you down. So, it didn't take down nothing but your guys' self was all you guys did here. Somebody doesn't like that you're going towards a better union, towards a better connection here. Somebody's mad about that. You're peaceful and quiet. So your energy right now, you're at peace, you're at quiet. There's something about your silence that's very powerful. So this is about you enjoying something on your own here. Now, I really feel like there was more than one person that thought they were going to take you down, but all it did was meet their own demise here. I keep getting that. So somebody here doesn't like that you're now enjoying your freedom. You're, you're trusting the process, vibing with who you are, just growing, evolving, stepping into your power now, trusting your intuition. So somebody did everything in their power to get you to doubt yourself. And man, it's more than one person that tried to team up on you. And all they did, like I said, was all they did was knock themselves off the path here. Do what you want to do. So this is about you just being in this free spirit energy. Balancing out everything in your life. Really, um, I just heard emotionally advanced. So I don't know what that means, but emotionally advanced. So somebody doesn't like the way that you're... That you have like evolved like there's something about you not reacting anymore that somebody was trying to play on and you're not feeding into that Virgo Virgo bring that back out good fortune as I am grateful for all the good fortune that I have more blessings flow into my life somebody didn't want you to have this fortune this is about you just being grateful making room for more things so somebody here doesn't like the way that you're honoring yourself so somebody who tried to say that you were sleeping around, doing the most, but it ain't adding up here. Something about your sacred sexual energy is definitely significant here. Somebody's mad that you're not sharing yourself with people like they wanted you to. That's weird. Huh. Visualization. I am the creator of my reality. I use my imagination to visualize what I want in my life so it can then be realized here. So somebody here doesn't like how you just like you can just like you create your own reality like you know how to have this imaginative energy and you just you could have a vision board but somebody doesn't like that what you want for your life is still coming in for you regardless of what this person tried to do now a side note with that sexuality card somebody was trying to use some kind of sexual energy to try to throw something at you so that's for somebody here because there's like a couple here that was trying to take you out man what needs to be surrendered for Virgo? Surrender, worry. 
Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worry arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So it's about you trusting the process. Sometimes things may not make sense to you. But this is about trusting that transformation. Being at flow, that swing just tells me that you're just letting things, letting people leave your life and welcoming better things in for yourself and trusting the process. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power than playing it small. So somebody, so somebody's realizing all they did was make you step into your power more if I try to come for you is what I'm getting off of that. Some of you guys could be done with the Leo, have Leo and your moon rising or Venus here. But somebody's panicking because you're on your full power. Surrender to divine timing. So this is about when something isn't manifesting as fast as you want it to. This is, again, being at flow with that swing here. Letting go of all that worry and the what ifs and just trusting in this divine timing because that is a thing. Blessings aren't meant to line up for us unless we are prepared. And we sometimes we have certain people around us that aren't meant to go on the next part of our journeys. And that's why this divine timing, just trust it. Surrender procrastination. So somebody wanted you to procrastinate. Somebody did everything they could to try to slow something down, but it ain't working. If there's something that you're wanting to do for yourself, now is the sign to go for it. Talk about unsettled. <laughs> Somebody's unsettled because you're you're very gifted, psychic. Somebody knows that you see through the lies and the illusions and the deception. Something about your very your high ranking spiritual energy here. Somebody doesn't like how high ranking you are. Like somebody's mad that you see through everything. Somebody's mad also that some kind of magic isn't working on you either. Somebody could have prayed, paid a practitioner or somebody could practice dark arts and they're mad to find out that it ain't working. Tell me more. It's like two people accepting their fate because these people tried to come for you, man. Tell me more. Unsettled. Are oh, they watching? This is an energy that's been watching to see if something's sticking. It ain't sticking. So your gossip, your lies, it ain't sticking. So <laughs> these people are mad watching you. Like you're just unbothered chilling, calling in what's yours here. Somebody's mad. Somebody's unsettled because something didn't end. Somebody very well didn't want you to be. Somebody could have done a death spell on you. Somebody paid a practitioner to end you and it ain't working. Guess what? It's going back to you. That's what's happening. So embrace that. Somebody's mad about your transformation too, this rebirth energy. Somebody's unsettled because they tried to cause all this burden and baggage into your life, but ultimately all it did was go back to them. <laughs> Somebody tried to keep you stuck with spell work. All it did was slow you down. That's all it did. So somebody is not happy. Like, man, all the illusions, the confusion that they tried to cast into you, the doubt. Somebody's mad that it ain't working out anymore. No, it's not. It's not going to work. It's going back to you. Tell about closure for Virgo. So somebody wants to try to come back and have this final talk with you. This is somebody that's mad that you put your sword down and you're not fighting with them anymore. Like you're done with this energy. And now this is someone that doesn't like to feel defeated. Tell me more. Well, what person's mad because you kept your head held high and you kept moving forward. This is somebody here that is trying to get your attention. So they want to try to have some kind of final talk with you here. So somebody knows that you're pulling your energy back and you're really just resting and just somebody very well wanted you to be in this like procrastinating energy and you clearly aren't this person knows that you like you detaching from them so this person knows you're getting ready to go towards new things and this person's trying to figure out how to how to gift you something try to take you out on a date they're trying to confess their loyalty and their stability with you like this is a very page like it's a very um immature person this is somebody that's mad that you didn't close something out or you didn't or you're not here anymore like this person knows that you're done and you're moving forward and this person knows that you're very strong-willed very resilient this is somebody that thought that you was going to continue to entertain this connection and you clearly are not this person is very much panicking about them being exposed for their true character and somebody's mad that you're getting away and still getting an offer like this is a very narcissistic energy that's mad that you close the cycle out and they're trying to figure out how to gain control over you. Somebody tried to control your finances too. Like, look at this. Somebody's mad how protected you are. Somebody's mad how you have these firm boundaries now. 
Ooh, this person doesn't like the protection that's around you. Oh, well. Tell me about mirroring for Virgo. Tell me about mirroring for Virgo. This little person tried to get you stuck on your wounds and your triggers. This is someone that likes to play the victim. Someone was doing mirror magic on you, and all it did was bounce back to them, man. It might have affected you for like a minute or two, but it, like I said, it went right back to you. Tell me more. Somebody wanted you not to have something. Somebody wanted you to have a scarcity mindset, a lack mentality. I guess that's the same thing, isn't it? So somebody's mad that you're leaving them out in the cold. And somebody definitely didn't want you to have something here. So this person's trying to figure out how to marry your energy because you're holding back. Somebody knows that you're not taking an offer. Somebody's mad. Like these are energies that are fighting with each other right now. Because somebody knows you see through their deception. <laughs> and somebody's been going back and forth trying to figure out the best way to hold you back. But we can't be held back. We took our power back and we're moving forward. And this person's mad. They are they know that you're moving forward. This is somebody that doesn't like that they lost control over you. Talk about unbothered for Virgo. Your blessings are still coming in. This is somebody that thought they had you stuck. Like, no. This person thought she was going to be waiting around to, to fix a connection. Again, no. Our blessings are still coming in because we remained unbothered. And we just tapped into who we are more. Tell me more. <laughs> they tried to end you again we're unbothered we don't care we know what you did what you did we don't care so your transformation is definitely significant like you're unbothered like you're ending this connection and you're looking back that's why this energy is so mad at you they didn't expect it for you to be so high ranking and just man you see through this this bullcrap and now they fighting over you <laughs> you took all the baggage and the burdens and you laid it down you could care less what people are saying about you. You know what you're doing and what you're not doing. So you don't need to like stand up for yourself. Like again, you could care less. Somebody tried to keep you stuck. This is about you just moving forward and just sometimes things may move a little slower, which just energy clearly tried to, to slow you down. I feel like that's all they could do. But this is about really celebrating yourself and just moving forward. Somebody tried to use spell work. Somebody wanted you bothered. Somebody did not want you to be looked at in a good lighting. These lies and these illusions, this gossip, this slander, what was said, did, sent behind your back, you could care less. Somebody's confused because you're not giving in to their antics here. Somebody did everything in their power to look at you in a bad lighting. And now somebody's no longer, somebody's no longer entertaining the circus show, we'll just call it. Somebody cannot believe that this didn't work out in their favor here. It's all blowing up in this person's face here. I've got Pisces, air, air, fire, fire, earth, fire, and Scorpio here. So this is really significant about your transformation and really stepping into this, um, this power that you have. Somebody didn't want you to step into your power. So you're unbothered and they're confused. <laughs> this deception didn't work. You're like over it. So somebody here wanted to really have you stuck in your habits and your grief and your pain. I feel like these energies are now having grief and pain and they've got some bad habits, but they want to focus on yours. This person was contemplating, hoping that you were never going to lose. Like they wanted you to lose, they wanted you to have doubt and they wanted you to lose hope and faith in yourself. And you clearly did not do any of those things. You're happy. You're chilling. You're loving life. You're winning. That's why these energies are so mad at you. <laughs> Virgo, <laughs> gotta laugh at it. Virgo, <laughs> Virgo, sacrifice. Somebody tried to sacrifice you. Uh huh. You had to give up your old life to step into your new life, and somebody did not want you to have this good fortune. <laughs> somebody knows they gotta give something up in order to win, and, and I feel like you were the the thing to give up. And then guess what? You're not winning. Tell me more. very dark people I'm picking up on right now. My God, they're dark. Sorry, I just hit my head on my camera. Worth the fight. Somebody still wants to try to come in here and conquer and win your love. Somebody still is interested in you. So I felt that there's still like a new person here. And somebody's mad that somebody's still observing you and interested in you. There's a blessed union here. Meant to be together. A love that transforms. A divine mission that you have with somebody. And somebody's mad that you're still getting that. Somebody's looking at your photographs. Somebody tried to do something with your pictures here. So definitely like spell work done on your pictures. 
somebody wanted you to go back to a past person and you're clearly not. And this past person could have done something to try to get you to go back to them. Somebody wanted you to have an emotional loss. They wanted you to be defeated. Somebody now is realizing they made a mistake for trying to come for you. So these energies are going to be in a loss. Like somebody tried to get somebody to look at you in this loss energy. Tell me more. So you're not phased by it. You hold, you have this self-control. You're not reacting to the negativity like these energies wanted you to. And you definitely got an admirer here that's keeping eyes on you right now. Tell me more. <laughs> these energies really went hard to try to defame your character. Tell me more. So we got a twin flame connection. You could be done with a twin flame or you're getting ready to meet your twin flame. Just don't let these titles keep you stuck. Your twin flame is literally you. Some kind of life being forever changed by meeting your twin. That's for somebody. Somebody wanted you to be operating out of fears and insecurities. Things are not what they seem. There's information that's about to be revealed. Yeah, I say there is. Somebody didn't want somebody to look at you. Like things were not what they seem when it comes to you. But you are who you are. And you're letting go of the old you. And what goes around comes back around. That's what these energies have coming to them. Because that's what they wanted for you. You've got miracles unfolding, blessings are surrounding you, and you've got luck on your side. And that's why they're mad too. Somebody didn't think that somebody was going to, like somebody thought for sure, like these energies waited around waiting for your downfall. And all it did was slow you down. Like these energies are mad because it's not working. You're following the signs. you got signs and synchronicities. You are not alone. Realizing that everything is happening for you, not to you. Somebody wanted to say you were a heartbreaker. Many love interests, not ready to settle down, but that's how you guys feel about your each other. So, somebody still admires you. Somebody didn't want you to be looked up at. Like, somebody didn't want you to, to just, somebody really didn't want you to be looked at in a good lighting here. Somebody wanted somebody to feel like you're out of their league or they're out of your league. Somebody wanted somebody to feel like they were closed off. Somebody wanted somebody to avoid a connection here. Somebody knows that you're avoided a connection here. That's why they're trying to have a closure. And you're one of a kind. You're irreplaceable. People like you are hard to find. That's why these energies went so hard to try to tear you down. And then we've got faded events coming into play. A faded relationship and forces that are a bond. This person's control. These people that were involved, like, it's out of your control. And this is like a type of energy, if you get in the way of this, you'll be removed. That's how that works. So tread lightly. Virgo. Virgo. So we got karmic friends that were involved too. Yeah, I felt more than one person here. So this is a whole group of people that tried to come up against you. These are people that act like they want your best interest, but they clearly don't. They all high-fiving and putting their hands together in a big group. Like, oh yeah, we got this. It's going to be so easy. Oh, is it now? Oh, you're about to see, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Creeping. Seeing if anything's working. It didn't work. Guess what? It's going back to you guys. So... Be afraid. Fake smiles, acting like they got the best interest for you, trying to come back here and, and smile in your face when you know dang well they just stuck a knife in your back. Somebody didn't want somebody to be looked at in a good lighting. I keep getting that. Somebody didn't want you to have the stable offer, whether that's for yourself or you're meeting somebody new. Somebody didn't want you to be looked at in this light. Somebody's trying to figure out how to get you back now. Tell me more. You're the king and the queen rising. You're stepping into your power here. So somebody doesn't like that you're in the spotlight and you're coming up. They didn't want this for you. Somebody did everything they could to try to keep you stuck. They wanted somebody to look at you like you made no changes, that you were, you know, you're not who you say you are. So all these energies did was waste their time because you're clearly unbothered. You're still moving forward. And somebody's still into you regardless of what was said about you. Somebody is... Trying to come back into your life and get you to be into them again because this is the like there's still somebody trying to work against you. I keep getting that grudge holder. Somebody's a grudge holder. Somebody is hoping that you was gonna hold grudges. Don't hold grudges on people, man. I used to be the biggest grudge holder in the world. I don't give anybody that power over me anymore. That means I care when I clearly don't. Same stuff, different day with these past energies. And they wanted to say that you were on this same stuff different day entertaining these third party energies and just all over the place these people that have tried to come up against you they're the ones that are dealing with this energy but they want to try to pin pin it on you <laughs> somebody tried to triangulate you somebody didn't want you to somebody really tried to paint you in this dark light somebody and there's like a, a third wheel that's here 
So a third party even tried to get in the way of this. And we've got a stalker. Somebody's obsessing. Somebody views you as a jackpot still. Some kind of inheritance could be significant. Some kind of money that's headed your way. And we've got somebody here that's just watching. Obsessed. Past energy is definitely obsessed. And this new person is like watching you. But I don't feel like it's in a bad way. Somebody looks at you as a jackpot. Somebody didn't want you to have a jackpot. And somebody's now threatened. Somebody wanted to intimidate somebody. Wants somebody to be bothered. Somebody said that somebody flosses and acts rich. And they got all this and they got all that. No. We are who we say we are. We don't hide behind a facade like you do. Well, these energies fake flex and they're threatened by you because they have to prove themselves to somebody while you don't. You could care less. You're just moving forward and just trying to be a better you and just calling in what's yours. Virgo. Conflicted. Somebody wanted somebody to be conflicted about you. Somebody did everything in their power to deplete you and drain you, but all these energies do was exhaust themselves out. Somebody definitely wanted someone to push you away. And now that you're pushing these energies away, now they're mad because something about something that they can't avoid now for what they did to you. Tell me more. There's a twin flame connection here. There is again twice. So somebody definitely is a twin flame connection. Some of you guys have not met your twin, but your twin flame is you, so keep that in mind. But somebody wants to mirror you. Somebody may try to use titles to keep you stuck. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody wanted to trap you, so just be just use your discernment. Somebody wanted someone to be stuck down in their loss and their grief and their depression here, but all it did was make you step into your power, man. Tell me more. You're building a solid foundation for yourself. Family could be significant. You could have children, or your family was involved in this. Somebody didn't want you to have the security that was clearly meant for you, and you're still making the way for the solid foundation. Somebody still got a spark for you. Somebody still is attracted to you. Somebody views you as very passionate. And somebody's trying to confess something. Somebody's trying to come clean. And we've got an apology. So this past energy could be trying to come back here with an apology. And there could be like a new person here that wants to try to come forth here. So you're continuing to, to have faith in your manifestations and you're still being called to do that. Somebody didn't expect for you to keep going. Somebody really wanted you to give up on yourself. Somebody wants you to be receptive and open your heart back to them. That's that past energy. And there's something new here too. Somebody wants to get you to have mixed signals. Somebody wanted somebody to be have mixed signals about you. Somebody didn't want them to open their heart up to you. And somebody thought she was going to continue to chase after the past. But you pulled your energy back and now somebody's longing for you. Somebody's trying to get some kind of information about you. So you definitely got eyes spying on you right now. The secret admirer just views you as this loyal person. Somebody didn't want you to have this loyal offer. So somebody definitely is now believing who you are who you say you are. Virgo. Virgo. Every situation in life is so temporary, so when life is good, make sure you enjoy it and receive it fully. When life is not so good, remember that it will all not last forever. Better days are on the way. I know that you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you are good enough or strong enough to do that which your heart desires to do. This message is here to remind you that you really are more than capable of doing it. Rise up and take that leap of faith for yourself here. So, man, you really got some energies here that are mad that they... <laughs> They, this is an energy that seek to destroy you and all it did was ultimately destroy themselves is what I keep getting here. So you don't need to have closure with any of these people. Continue to move forward. People only want to have closure with you so they can pull you backwards. So, all right, beautiful Virgo, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.